Hey, how's it going? Oops. Hey, how's it going? I think you could see me. Um, I'm actually up this morning. Chuck and I took Winaga to the beach, and then when we came back, there's um, right here against this wall over here, there's salmon um, breaching the surface. Um, chasing so there's schools of big chinook salmon that swim around this uh, chuckernut bay and uh, that's what's going on this morning so i figured i'd get out here and maybe throw some flies in front of them i need a darker fly i think black and whites i'd probably throw that little clouser that's big enough to nail a salmon just to piss it off so it hits it. All these black woolly buggers would work good too. They're weighted. I think they're weighted. Actually might throw one of these. Almost looks like an egg pattern too. And that's all these salmon do right now since they're spawning mode is they just get aggressive and they'll attack something. Um, so, let's see how it goes. Throw a loop here, behind. Oops. A loop in, go behind, go around one, two, three times. I used to be a fly fishing guide up in Alaska and in Idaho. So I haven't fished in a long time because of my back injuries uh, and needing surgery, especially since I had the double fusion in my cervical. Um, and this is hurting my hand a little bit, but I'm doing it gently and just kind of having fun with it. And if we caught a salmon, I'd be pretty excited. So there we go. We'll give it another try. I'm just double hauling out here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to just work the line till I get it all the way over here to the... Uh, Probably turn a little bit. I'm gonna just work the line till I get it all the way over towards that cliff face so I can strip it back this way. Whoa. Oh. All right, fresh start. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let me just let it sink for a second, and then just start stripping back. And what I got on there is a big black woolly bugger leech looking like thing with an egg pattern in the front of it. And they hate those things because it eats all their eggs. And it's black, and today's a cloudy day, so you want something dark colored because it's more about shadows in the water. On a bright day, they can see that color range of oranges and reds and things. I think they're right out over here. So. Another shot. The last cast will pop over that way. Right now I'm double hauling that line because I'm trying to get a lot of line out. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good looking fly. And the water's clear as a bell right now. So, clear as a bell. How good is that saying? You can see through the line like you can hear a bell. Of a hall. I know. It's out over there. Oh, I think I just got a hit. Got a little tap. It's just below the surface, so I can see it. Something comes for it.
going to pretty much have to be almost right in front of the salmon to get them to come at it. But I think they're just moving around. Blue egret flying. I think they're just kind of moving around here. So. Well, no luck on the fishing. Uh, we tried. Uh, my back was getting a little sore. Still pretty, pretty sore from two days ago when I, or actually was it yes, no, it was two days ago when I pinched it. Uh, it still hasn't gotten better from there. So I was kind of taking it easy. Anyways, yeah, so my back's still kind of out. So I just fished a little bit. But I got the rod ready. So if I see them splashing up again, I can cast to them. We got the tides dropping down right now, uh, which means that um, the tide's probably going to go down, I would think, like throughout the day. Um, and then that'll shallow it up. We'll probably drift in a little bit closer and then I'll be able to actually reach that wall, no problem. If I could cast off the front of the bow towards the wall, that'd make it a lot easier. Check this out. Can you see right along the edge there? There's two people swimming there. <laughs> no, three people swimming there. That's crazy. Water's so cold. They're in wetsuits and stuff, but um, up here people just bear that cold. They like that cold water. My body doesn't like that cold water. So. Anyways, that's what we got going. We, uh, we'll just see how it goes. These guys are probably going to spook the salmon out anyways or chase them up here, maybe, which would be cool. I think tonight if we get calm, the bioluminescence in the water in Chuckanut is amazing. It, it's uh, not as good as Cypress, but it's pretty good here. And so tonight, if it's calm, we'll see the salmon swimming around through the bioluminescence. I'll make sure I try and film that tonight. Um, last night just coming in was a whole lot and I made dinner for everyone and it was kind of a it was kind of a kept me busy so anyways but that's it um, so I'm gonna make breakfast now we got some eggs hash browns some sausages get some food in me and then I'm gonna get on that uh, alternator I need to put new bolts in that and make sure it's secured down and, and in place how it should be and that's be an easy job uh, I guess that's it all right. Hey, how's it going? So we're wrapping up this alternator job we started this morning. Well, we started it yesterday when we rolled in here. Uh, we were actually in Chuckanut Bay still. Uh, we came in yesterday, later in the afternoon. And so I had some issues with my alternator. I actually sheared a bolt off that lower thing and it dropped it over. Luckily not down on the pulley, but it definitely was arcing in the back a little bit. So hopefully we didn't do any damage. I'll let's show you what I did. So I think you can see in here in the engine room, hopefully. So here's a bolt here, here's a bolt here, and here's a bolt here. This one, it pivots, um, the alternator pivots on. It holds it taut, but it kind of is the bottom pivot. This holds the bracket arm. Uh, and then this holds the alternator to the bracket arm. And it's just kind of a flimsy design uh, altogether. Uh, so anyways, well, I tightened this and put a new bolt in here, added some washers on here, and then actually a lock washer and a nut on the backside to just really pinch it in really good and give it more stability. Uh, and over here, I added a couple washers and a lock washer here also. And then I uh, was going to put a washer in here, but I couldn't get anything thin enough. And it was just a little bit of movement in there. But now it seems like it's pretty solid. The belt's nice and taut on that wheel. Uh, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it and make sure nothing happens. But here, I'll bring you, zoom you in here. So this is the bolt. I replaced this one, but this is the one that actually sheared off and the whole thing kind of levered over on this bolt. Luckily it didn't touch this, but it arced back here in the back of the engine. Uh, one of these wires did. So um, fingers crossed, no damage. I didn't smell anything burning. Um, got my tools everywhere, as you can see. Sorry about that big swoop, but uh, I'm going to get cleaning up here and then we might go try and throw the fly out there again. See, 
it's starting to calm down outside. The wind's kind of dying off from uh, this morning. Oops, sorry about that. Wind's kind of slowing down after this morning. This down there. Oh. All right. Whew. Right on. So uh, we're just going to clean up now and uh, put stuff away. Uh, kind of got to scatter through the cabin here. But uh, that's solved for now. Uh, fingers crossed it'll be okay and uh, it'll work. We have that generator in the back there. I just finished charging our batteries up. We're at 100% now, which is really cool. So I'm going to turn this light off and I'm going to conserve my juices on my battery bank, put my tools away. And then go cast for some salmon, maybe. Andre's parked right over here, out my, this would be my starboard side. You can see him, his boat's right over there. He hasn't moved in. He's gonna move into the shore right in that corner there, uh, away from the wind line. But anyways, uh, he's there and then I think, can I see? No, we can't see Tom. Anyways, 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 anyways. So I'm gonna clean up my tools, get going. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I post videos every Fridays now. I've got caught up um, to, I had about three months ahead of time uh, videos posted. And so I went back and did Tuesdays and Fridays for the past couple months or two months, I think I did it just to kind of clear through some of that uh, refit stuff to get us to the water point, uh, which was basically the start of season two. So um, after eight months of on the hard with season one. So uh, anyway, so we're here out on the water in Chuckanut Bay, enjoying it uh, the last few days of, of summer. We're already into fall, September now. Um, and we're going to be moving south. Henri and I are going to go to the south sound towards uh, some of the San Juans, lower lower south ends of the San Juans, uh, Friday Harbor, and a few other places. Um, and then uh, eventually is Vashon Island off of Seattle, be kind of one of our home bases, and then moving around for the winter. My other option is I put in for a dock at Friday Harbor, which has winter moorage rates because I couldn't afford these places up here. There, with a 41 foot board, it's just too much money. Um, on, on my disability, it just doesn't work for me. Um, so, anyways, uh, I guess that's the plan. I'll be waiting to hear from Friday Harbor probably next week or something and uh, find out if I get that. That'll start in October 1st and go through April, end of April. Uh, and so I'd be at a dock all winter with. Uh, electricity and showers and laundry and there's stores in town it might be a fun thing to do because it's um it's gonna be a long winter it's a wet and it's a windy winter up here in the pacific northwest um but i get lots of chances to sail and learn some stuff um and if i don't make friday harbor there's some other options i can keep trying but um probably just gonna hook it the whole winter with Andre or as long as he can stand having me around but um tagging along with him but he's a good guy younger man but uh, uh a nice guy and uh, he's got some experience and knows a little bit about the south sound and good places to anchorage and all that stuff and and he's got experience with boating and he's taught me a few things for sailing which has been nice so